My name is Bob Kaplan. I, I'm a uh, professional published author. I've been publishing, uh, published several uh, poems in Sci-Fi Quest magazine. I used to be a music journalist for Music Under Fire, and I've written and produced uh, several independent films. I'm also working on a play and a novel. The novel's called You Can Take the Girl Out of the Park, But You Can't Take the Trailer Out of the Girl. I, um, you know, I've always had a strong view that writers see the world differently. Because, you know, everybody out there, you know, we see the world, you know, everybody out there lives out here in the world. The everyday world, but writers, we live in here, we live in our heads. And why is it here? Why is, you know, why do they have a cactus for a store with a bunch of hats and hippie clothes? Look at that. Now, it's not the smiley face, it's the fact that I have a beard, which I think is weird, the beard. Why are these strands, you know? These are, these are dots, these are long, you yeah. know? What does that do with being in the Jeep? You know, I think I view the world differently, I, I maybe because I'm a writer, because uh, I have a, my motto is, everything is gay in my eyes, meaning everything is weird, everything is different, there's no normal. Like I see that piano, and that piano looks weird to me. That piano shouldn't be there, it shouldn't be shaped like that. Because that piano is different, I can write about it. If I see stuff in everyday life and think it's normal because it's, it's normal everyday stuff, then there's nothing for me to write about. You know, I mean, I've even had friends, you know, say we had a falling out, we didn't talk for years, and they'll be walking out in the everyday world, seeing everyday thing, and start laughing and say, ah, oh, fucking Bob. And then here's this is, you know, you got the chair facing this way, that chair facing that way, the bench in the middle. But look at this. Randomly, the ashtray. Now, this should be two, but it should be even. You get the two windows, two chairs, one bench, and this thing is all bent. There's a, uh, a great part of a Kurt Vonnegut book, which is a good example of how, you know, the way you see the world can be differently and how you can affect other people and make them see the world differently. Um, Kurt Vonnegut wrote about mailing a package. Instead of saying, I put the package and mailed it, he said, I fed my package to the blue bullfrog, and in return he said, ribbit. And then you stop and you think, and it looks like a, a bullfrog, the uh, mailbox blue bullfrog, and that it sounds like a ribbit. You know, I mean, only that many people would see it that way. It takes a very unique writer to be able to really think of a mailbox as a blue bullfrog, and that creaking sound as a rivet. And now, every time I mail a package, every time I see a mailbox, I just crack up. You know, I just, you know, I always laugh. Everything is gay through my eyes. Everything I see is out of place, doesn't fit, is weird, is wrong. There is no such thing as normal, because truly there is no such thing as normal, but peep, there's a difference between normal and every day. Every day is, you know, becomes normal because you see it enough. But then, you know, when you can find everyday things, uh, a stop sign, the shape of a stop sign, you know, you have to be able to look at something, um, see, you know, different, the paint's uneven here, you have to have an eye for detail. Because being a writer isn't like being an everyday person. You have to be different because, I mean, we're like, in a way, we're like prophets. You know, we, we, our job is to deliver messages from our own subconscious, is to deliver things that no one else sees. I have to find concepts, that find stories, find stuff that nobody has all seen before, and write, you know, describe things unlike anybody would, like Vonnegut did with the Blue Bullfrog. And... Um, it's a very, it's, it's, it's a big burden to carry. It's not easy being a writer, it's not easy at all. And it's a tough lifestyle, but truth is there's nothing else in the world I'd rather do because it's who I am. I'm born a writer. I did not choose this lifestyle that was given to me because that's, you know, when it comes down to it, everything about me is being a writer. I've tried every job out there, I've done it all, and there's only one thing for me. You know, if I don't make it as a writer, I'd be better off dead because that's who I am. Everything that was right